taking on feedback is going to be something that you're going to have to learn in your career, or it's never going to be given to you. What do I mean by this? Well, if you show the people around you that you can't take any negative feedback, you know where the negative feedback is gonna go? It's gonna go away places that you can't see. It's gonna go on some HR database and you're never gonna see the feedback. You're never gonna get it and you're going to stagnate in your skills and abilities and your career overall. That doesn't sound like something that I would want and I don't want that for you. So how do we improve our position so that we can take feedback on? And I'm gonna focus mostly on negative feedback because that's where people have more of a challenge. When people are puffing you up and giving you positive feedback, Usually people will take that on. Hopefully they don't get too pompous about it. So we're gonna focus on negative feedback here. So with negative feedback, if you routinely show the people around you that you can't take it, then they're just going to not tell it to you, like I alluded to earlier. Now, if we want to improve that situation, the best way I've found so far is to overtly tell the people around you that you can take negative feedback. Now, the most important thing when you do this is when they give you negative feedback, you take it. You take it on the chin and you don't claw back, you don't get defensive, you just take the negative feedback. Now this will be very hard. If you've never taken negative feedback before, you've never heard negative feedback, when people say bad things about your performance, it can be very hard. But there's a mindset shift I'm about to give you that's gonna help you to get past that. So when you do get negative feedback, you need to see it as a growth opportunity. That's the core thing we're trying to get across here. If someone gives you negative feedback, you need to truly take that on and say, hey, I didn't like the way you talked about this specific thing with this person, whatever it is, take that feedback on and see it as a growing opportunity. And this is gonna be hard if you attach your technical competence or feedback to your identity, which a lot of engineers do. I have a whole video on how to disconnect your opinion from your identity up here. So we don't want to have our opinion our performance, none of that should be directly tied to your identity. So you need to take this feedback and you need to disconnect it from a personal attack. This is not a personal attack. And if you treat it like this other person's actually trying to help you, that mindset shift can make it much easier to take negative feedback. And showing the people around you that you can take negative feedback also will help you get more honest feedback. So this is a win, 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 win here where you're actually able to get more feedback, hopefully, if you're paying attention to this channel and you're starting to improve your emotional and social intelligence or EQ and SQ, you don't have a huge amount of negative feedback that you're gonna be getting. But when it does occur, you're going to basically take it on, see that as a growing opportunity and go forward and do better. Because if you know better, you'll do better. And if the people around you, especially your management, can't be open about your rooms for improvement, you are going to be stagnating in your technical skills and your career. And that's not what I want for you because it's completely avoidable. So if there's negative feedback to be taken, take it, take it willingly, take it happily because that other person's helping to banish your ignorance. So maybe you have a blind spot that you didn't see you're upsetting people around you because of the way you're communicating. That would be something that I would wanna know. And that negative feedback is something that you take that on and you see it as a way for you to improve. This mindset shift is incredibly potent, and it's something that I think everyone needs to go implement right away if you haven't already. Now that you're better at taking on feedback, you should keep going and learning more emotional intelligence at this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to move to social intelligence, got a separate playlist just for that. Or you can keep doing exactly what you've been doing, but you're probably gonna get exactly the same results you've been getting.